Okay, this video is for uh, the Windows users. Um, uh, for the Windows machines, we need a uh, uh, special software in order to be able to connect uh, and log into a machine on main campus called Copeland that uh, we need to use. Uh, the Mac users do not need to download this software because your operating system, OS X, uh, actually has it built in already. So let me just show you how we'll go through that. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a software installation. Switch over to my browser here. And so I just did a search for UD, um, UD Putty. See, there's my search. I just did a search for UD Putty. And then I looked down a little bit looking for a UD symbol. There it was. And so we're going to just pick it up from UDeploy. This location that you'd be called you deploy. So I haven't clicked on that. My computer is running quite slow here. And then we will download it. Just take the that first one should do it. Scoop that over. Yes, download putty installation package. That's what we want to do. So download that, and you know how this works. It will appear at the bottom of your browser or down here somewhere. Uh, you can just click that and, and go ahead and install it. That will get it um, installed on your machine, and then we're going to just run that software. So I'll just switch over to that now, which is right here. Once you get things executing, this software executing, then this is what it looks like. I'm trying to move some windows out of the way. I have too many windows open. All right, so we have a couple of configuration uh, parameters that we want to fill out on this. And so uh, let's let's go with, this is a very important one right here. <laughs> We're going to type in there Copeland. C-O-P-L-A-N-D, Copeland dot C-I-S dot U-D-E-L dot E-D-U. Okay, that's the machine we're going to be connecting to. And one other thing that you that you want to do also is click on keyboard here and move this from control question mark to right there, control H. Okay, so we can go back to settings, session. <laughs> and then what you should do at that point, there's other settings there you can play around with if you feel like at one time change the font size and whatnot. I've changed the font size on mine, but um, you could do it on yours too. There's a number of things, in our, especially in here, appearance. You can change the colors and whatnot. Um, in the end, you may, you may set a number of these, or we may just have these two set. That is the host name and the keyboard. So we're using uh, Control H here. Right, instead of control question mark. Okay, and then I just typed in Copeland right here. Uh, what I want to do is whatever settings we, we we decide or you decide that you want, you know, even if you don't, you know, even if all you want are those two settings, just we're going to save that set of settings. So I just named them Copeland because it kind of makes sense. These are my settings for Copeland, and then and then I'm going to push once I type that name that I want in there. Then I I'm just going to hit save. Right, and once you hit save there, then this Copeland that name, whatever you named it here, is going to pop into this one. And then from now on, you just select this and load. So from now on, that's all you have to do. And for instance, I'll just I'll delete this to show you. Once we've selected that and I do load, see how my settings all come back in, and my keyboard setting will be correct, right? Because I've already saved all of those settings and i named them copeland because that makes sense all right so i i've loaded those settings and now we're just going to open this all right so now what we see here on the screen this is where i've logged in uh we haven't logged in yet but this is uh putty attempting to connect so we're going to say our um, username in here. So my email address is wboyer at udell.edu. Therefore, my username is wboyer. Right? You, know, you do yours the same way. Just do that first part. Hit enter. And then it's going to ask for my password. 
Um, while you're typing your password in, you will not see the characters appearing on the screen. So you're going to just type them in and uh, hit enter. Okay, and there I've got my password in. You really can't use your, your mouse on this except for to see what's on the screen. So you can see, uh, we just want to make sure that it's really clear that my password is not visible here, right? And while I was typing in, it did not look like I was typing anything in there. Okay, so if you end up with a screen that looks like this, then you're in. This is Copeland. And this thing down here, this area down here, um, is called the command prompt. And so it's always just waiting for us to issue some sort of command. Uh, we could issue one like pwd. And with that command, we'll see our, what is the active folder that we're in right now, the present working directory, pwd. And so what I see here is that there is a folder called, if I want to read this to you, you'll understand it when I, when I do. There's a folder called home, and in that folder is a folder called user A. Right, and then in that folder, user A, there's one called W Boyer, and there's one for every one of us. For each one of us, mo many people at the at the university are, are, are already have accounts on this machine. So this is your home directory. This is my home directory, but yours will have your username there. And then you can do something like ls. So you want a directory listing, and you can see the contents of the PWD. And so what I see there is I have something called public underscore HTML. And in PuTTY, it's uh, it's colorizing things that are folders. So if it wasn't a folder, if it was a file, um, it, it wouldn't be that blue color that I, that I see there. Um, I can do a, a little bit longer, ls negative L, and get a little more details about that. And, and so what I can see with this is What did I do wrong? I mistyped ls space negative l is what I'm doing there. All right, and then I see I still see the same thing, public HTML, uh, but now I have permissions over here, which we, we want to kind of keep an eye on. And uh, the leftmost thing in this list of permissions here, the leftmost character is a D right there. All right, you'll see that D. That's indicating that this is a directory, which is synonymous with a folder. Um, if it was a file or it's not a folder, then that D would not be there. It would be a dash, kind of like right here. Like there's a dash right there. There would be a dash in place of that D. So that is all there is to installing PuTTY. And then, so a screen like this, you're going to be... Um, Uh, submitting a screenshot and that is your screenshot <laughs> that's all you need for your screenshot is that uh, that show me that connection to putty now make sure that you are if you're having problems one one issue can be that you're, you're not actually connected to any connect that does absolutely need to be um, connected to the UD servers before um, the servers will allow you to log into them. So that's all there is to doing PuTTY. Now, um, for the Mac users who probably haven't made it this far in the video because they don't need this video, they, you still want to use the same username, uh, a host name. That is copeland.cis.udel.edu. That is our, our host. That's the name of that machine in Newark. And so we're trying to connect to and remote control that machine. So they use something called SSH, which is a built-in command in their computer, uh, in the Mac, Mac OS X. And that's built in because Mac OS, OS X is a Unix machine already. So it's a, it's a, it has the native commands that, that um, Copeland has. So, but anyway, that's just a little bit of info for Windows users, because I'm sure no Mac users have gone this far. So uh, that, that'll get us going on this one. See you next video.